cellar here. Your mother hid her secrets here. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Mm-hmm. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Of course, I'm always picking up the magics. You can always break them down in these so you can craft, so... Even if they're crap, I always pick them up. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will find Deckard King. Stay there and study your mother's secrets. We may have need of them. Thank you. Alright, gotta go to the cathedral. Gosh, ambush, ambush. Guys, yeah, real quick. And just so you guys know, this it'll never be this easy when you start out. This is only easy, you know. I'm a level 13. I'm not meant to be going through this. It takes like four or five runs through this to get to level 13. So, level one is definitely difficult. They really amped up the damage in this patch too. So, expect it to be hard. And this is just normal and it's hard. But this is not a fair representation of how difficult to be. If you want to see that, I got a monk video up um, starting at level 1 and uh, just doing a full playthrough. See the difficulty there. True difficulty. This is more just to show you guys uh, different skills the Witch Doctor has. Show, all, you know, this is the most. He has all the skills available so you can see everything and then uh, just show you uh, all the quests and stuff in a quick way. Show you what it's all about. I think some people just like to watch it too, just get hyped up <laughs> and wait so long for it to come out. It just helps a little bit to watch the video. Well, one month away, guys. Not too bad. Let's uh, banish my zombie dogs here. Let's see what we do. Actually, no, I'll wait. Wait till it gets spun. Wait till Not here. Alright, here we go. Watch this. <laughs> Massive damage. Massive damage. Very cool. Spawn him right back up. Good go. Definitely a strategic uh, thing there. You know what? I'm going to show you guys a new skill. Let's, uh,. Get rid of sacrifice. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll show you guys later. Let's do grasp of the dead and groping eels. Don't we could keep the dead trapped here? Akarat, save me! Nah, you're probably gonna die, guy. Alright, right, so actually, let me read you this. <clears throat> Grasp of the Dead costs 65 mana, 8 second cooldown. Glitch hands reach out from the ground, show, slowing enemy movement by 60% and dealing 20% weapon damage to physical for 8 seconds. With the Groping Eels rune, increases the damage done to 36% weapon damage as physical. Alright. Let's see that right here. Pretty good move, does a pretty wide radius. Good for packs. Good uh, AOE, kinda, sort of. So yeah, this guy's got some good strategy. Throw out some haunts and throw out some uh, roping eels there, and you do pretty good amount of damage. And your zombie dogs will help them pile up in that one spot, so you can get a nice, good uh, hit on everybody. Yep, and what we're doing now is uh, these dungeons are randomized. And we're trying to find the one spot where Deckard Kane is. So, you know, it could be here. It could have been here, but it wasn't. You know, it could be up here. It could be up here. It's different every time. Let's check this out. Scoping Eels thing can go pretty far. It's inside me. It's inside me. Yeah, you're pretty much done, guy. So 
But sometimes you can get right to the point, it can be a quick run through, and sometimes it can take forever, you know, if you walk around and the very last place you explore is uh, the right place, which sometimes happens. It's pretty frustrating. <laughs> Especially when we've been playing this for god knows how long. If you weren't aware, when I started playing I had no idea what snared means. But uh, snared is a reference to the slow. As you can see, reduces for the numbing dart reduces the target's movement speed by 60% for 2 seconds. You know, realize that kicks in when it says uh, Snared. So snared means slow, pretty much. Well, it does mean slow. Nope, not that way. Not that way. So you kind of want to do this in a way where you don't backtrack a lot. So sometimes it's unavoidable. Like I came up here, went up here, and I wanted to come down here, but you don't want to be running in circles if you don't have to. Watch this. Watch this. Done skis. Easy, easy, easy peasy. So yeah, most of his skills, like I was saying, you know, are big AOE sort of type thing. You know, they hit multiple targets. They uh, kind of self self target, auto auto aim type thing. But this will be your main damage dealer right here if you want to do a good one shot hit, one damage hit. That's a massive damage right there. Oh, here we go. Oh, record came. Oops. The power of the fallen star awaken me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. <laughs> Right here is a good opportunity to use the groping heels right there. About old Deckard Kane. There you go. Now he's not getting beat by a skeleton. So let's throw a couple haunts on him. And shoot at him right there. Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? Because you needed my help. Come, I must return to you. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. Break these down real quick. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. I seek your wisdom. Tell me of the fallen star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back.
Also, I didn't notice before, but um, I was trying to stack these on top of each other. I didn't understand why they wouldn't stack. And then I looked at it, and this is a minor, and that's a lesser. So this will instantly restore 250 life, and this will instantly restore 400. Did not notice that. <laughs> I did not. Let's see. Yep, okay. So you can change which one you wanted to be shown in there. Alright, cool. The skeleton king was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. The Oryx should be in the unformed land, yet he stands between me and the fallen star. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Alrighty. We shall do that. Peter spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife. <laughs> Did you hear? Old Rumpel has a hey, Mr. Eamon. Blacksmith. Decker Kane said yeah, he's got a name. Let me find the crown of the Oric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in her cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It must be done, Blacksmith. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. Hey, come over here. My friend, I'm sorry. We set our flags. Aid us. My love, forgive me. Ah, uh, Hedrick, 